Hello, my name is Jasmine, I'm an illustrator, and today we're going to make the illustration for chapter 2 of my medieval comic, Girl Night. So I vlogged the entire process of making the cover for the first chapter. That was a lot of fun to do. It was filmed in two parts, but this one's going to be one part because it'll kind of be repeating a few techniques and things. Sorry, it's really cold, so I didn't really feel like you know, changing too, too much for this vlog. So bear with me. I'm gonna be pretty cozy today. As for the comic itself, if you'd like to read the entire first chapter of Girl Night, it's up on my Patreon and you can access my Patreon for just a dollar a month. For chapter two, I've been posting every page as I draw them. So that's been fun updating. Now that I'm almost halfway done with drawing chapter two, I feel like it's time to draw the cover for it. If you haven't seen the video for the first chapter, I would recommend to watch it because I do go over the vision for each chapter illustration. It's going to stick to a very medieval uh, illumination style, so I'm gonna be continuing that. I do recommend that you check out those videos first so that this video becomes kind of like a sequel to the series. So I'm hoping you've already seen those. If not, oh well, whatever, welcome. <laughs> I've already shown what chapter one looks like. So chapter two is going to look obviously similar to that, but Alice is going to be in the middle. And as for the decorative elements on the sides, there'll be more like river plants and wine caskets and uh, butterfly cocoons. The cocoon and the butterfly, I want it to symbolize uh, the imminent transformation that's going to eventually occur for Alice. And I would like the juxtaposition between her looking all ragged and at her pretty much rock bottom to have the symbol of transformation sort of alluded in the cover. That's what I finished coming up with this morning over coffee and I'm pretty much ready to start drawing. As for what I'm using to draw on, for the first chapter, I used very thick drawing paper, and I regret that because this is not the same size as the comic paper size. You can tell this one's smaller than the comic paper. So when I had to compile them all into one document, I had to resize this and pretty much stretch it a little bit. So I don't want to do that again. I want all the pages stay consistent if they're all going to belong in the same book eventually this needs to be the same size so we're not going to use this paper anymore we're gonna draw using the same comic paper which is the deleter comic paper i get these on amazon i have a link for it below so you don't have to be googling it um i'm obsessed with this comic paper it's nice and thick it has those awesome rulers on the edges here's to staying consistent and lastly because we are using this as a reference obviously because we're staying consistent in a certain look i'm gonna put this up for reference especially when it comes to the borders i just have to be careful not to get the pencil lines there we go so it's gonna be on the side and i could be referencing it The main border is done, and I will say it's a lot easier to do on this paper because of the guidelines. Uh, this I had to freehand and it was a pain in the butt. Now the next thing to do is to draw the inside image border. That's going to be hard without a grid, so I'm going to use my little light box to grid out the inside, which should be right here. I 
wanted to draw the middle part, but because I'm drawing this by hand with pencil, the rule if you're right-handed like I am is to always draw the left side first and then move onwards like that because your wrist is going to be smudging. I'm gonna have to pause working in the middle part in order to draw this section first. Saturday, February 4th, and I just got back from my day job. I'm ready to finish this piece. All that's left is to add the lettering. If you've seen chapter one's illustration videos, you know that I hand lettered that title, and then obviously I edit it on the computer to make it look a lot nicer. We're gonna do that again. I remember what calligraphy tools I used, but I don't remember what ink I used.
I definitely need to look back at that vlog and see what bottle of ink I used. I have a very pretty brown ink and if it's too brown for the illustration, I can always change the color on the computer. So. That video was from six months ago. Boy, has time passed. Okay, so this is what I ended up writing away. It's really bad. Any calligrapher can tell you that this is terrible. But just like last time, we are going to use the magic of digital editing to make these squiggles into uh, legit letters. Man, that was really hard again. It just doesn't get any easier. <laughs> I scanned the piece of paper, imported it into Clip Studio, and I changed the layer setting to multiply to remove the white background. Then it's just a matter of extracting each letter and editing it so it looks like what it's supposed to look like. It. it's finally done I would say that I put in about 12 15 hours in this piece and I hope that one can see that because that's a long time so far what I have for chapter illustrations are chapter 1 and chapter 2 I'm really excited to see what the next series of chapter covers are gonna look like uh, settling down for his nap and that's usually when he starts making like the weirdest noises it's really cute by the time you're watching this girl night will already be launched on webtoon and tapas and it'll soon have its own comic platform but i'm still trying to figure out the coding for that page so for now, if you'd like to read the first couple of pages, it's available on Webtoon or Tapas. The links will be below. And if you'd like to read the entirety of chapter one, for just $1 in my Patreon, you can access that in addition to, I think, over 40 posts that I've already created on there. I'm currently working on drawing chapter two. It's nice to have the cover for it, but I'm about halfway done drawing chapter two. And every page that I draw, I immediately post it on Patreon. So you can already get a glimpse of what chapter two is going to entail. So I really would recommend that you check out my Patreon and of course, that support goes directly to me and this project. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the bell button. Follow me. I will continue to make more process videos, uh, including weekly vlogs. I've been wanting to do that, but I wanted to get this done first. So the next vlog will definitely be a weekly vlog if you're into that. Thank you for watching this whole video, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye!